So, folks, there it is. Probably one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen here in Brick Rigs. This is the tornado. Now, I know we've checked out several before, uh, but this one has... Uh, you could say a little bit more destructive capabilities. So we're going to drive this here garbage truck right into it just to see what happens. And then hopefully we're going to rip apart some buildings and maybe even accomplish some tower survival. Not really sure if it's going to work or not, but oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Dude, it's like it just sucks it up and starts to carry it off. That is one of the most incredible effects I've ever seen. And there goes Bob. Holy man. So yeah, as you can see, it wraps up objects and actually twists and blows them apart and spreads debris all over the city. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this here. Oh, I accidentally got up. <laughs> that was probably not a good idea. So yeah, the tornado is definitely uh, one of the unique creations. Now, real quick, I know a lot of people ask me, where do I get these? Uh, it's from an author that has them privated, uh, so it's really up to them if they ever want to release them. Which, by the way, the garbage truck was by Edoa. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, also, we're going to check out this JDM tuner shop. It's by, I'm not even going to say that name. I'm going to zoom in on it. So I do want to try this with like a basic building. So I think probably pausing is going to be the best solution here. Uh, we're going to place this off, so I'm going to change it today. I know the, you know, it looks better because it's cloudy. It kind of gives the effect, but I want to be able to, like, really see stuff here. So there is a chance that we could maybe do this in uh, maybe some multiplayer. I want to do some testing here today. Let's unleash uh, the tornado's capabilities on this building. Here we go. Uh, oh, my goodness. It just, it literally, like, sucks it up, and it's just carrying it. And there it goes. <laughs> oh, that's going to do wonders to a, uh, a tower. So yeah, it actually took it off, I guess you could say it's foundation. You know what we could do? To maybe simulate this a little bit better, I'm gonna pin the object. So, as if it has like a foundation, and we'll see what kind of beating the building itself can take. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here, uh, we're gonna pin it again. Also, we're gonna definitely send this thing through Bricksville just to see what happens. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pin this uh, to the ground. So it should be able to stay here. Now the pieces of the building should blow off as if there's like a tornado nearby. So here we go. Uh, we're going to unpause it here. And there it is. Dude, that is such a cool effect. Oh, it still eventually does break it and lift it. But it definitely stayed planet longer that time. And I think it created some more satisfying destruction. Oh my goodness. Look at the debris. And it actually flings stuff off. I hit the tanks over there. Those exploded. Uh, that's what's left of the building. Like, you could level full towns. Like, if I were to set up, like, a, a mock town and just set this thing right in the middle of it. Uh, you know what? I don't know if uh, tower survival is going to be a thing. We're going to try it real quick, though. By the way, as far as the radius of said tornado, as you can see, I believe it has this, these little pieces that fling out. It's pretty wide. Uh, I don't know if we're ever going to get a, a maybe a bigger version of this, but I feel like... Yeah, you don't want to step too close to it because you're going to get flung through the sky and it's going to be hilarious. Okay, you know I got to try this with one of the XFS towers here. Let's go with the big chunkers here. This is 4,800 bricks. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Oh, this is going to be a true test here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it right here with it. And we're going to do the same thing. I think the pinning helps. Uh, I don't want it in god mode though. Obviously, you want stuff to fly off. I'm going to get out. We're going to stand here at the top. And, you know, we should probably watch this first and see if it's actually going to work and then see if we can get down. Here we go. Uh, oh, wow. So the building's definitely planet now. And that's it's so cool looking. Uh, it's actually going to destroy the bottom of it uh, before. Oh, there's no way we get out of this thing. Like, you would die if you went down to the bottom. Eventually, this is going to collapse, right? Uh, I think the pinning's actually helping. Yeah, it's actually pinned the top of it. Uh, oh my goodness, look at the debris. <laughs> this is cool looking. Uh, I get a lot of joy from this, not going to lie. Uh, okay, so maybe for a building like this, pinning is not the way to go. Oh, there goes the foundation. Um, it is now sliding towards it. Look at the debris. Look at how far it's flung it all over the city. It's just ridiculously cool. Like, I like this. And I like that it actually looks like wind is carrying stuff off uh, after it lands. That's, yeah, hold on, let's zoom out. That is what has become of this uh, XFS tower. As you can see, the debris is just spread out everywhere. Like, it's made it almost to the main road. Uh, actually, it made it into parts of Bricksville. Yeah, 
There's debris in Bricksville. Uh, there's some across. Oh, I didn't even see that. So apparently a piece of debris actually flew off towards the factory and hit the tank beside it. Unless that was already broken. Uh, this is impressive. Okay, I, I definitely want to do this. We're going to unpin it, though. Okay, we're going to set this one a little further away. Maybe it won't be quite as devastating. Uh, we're going to try a round of tower survival. Editor, we're going to need some intense music here. Uh, I'm going to start right up here uh, at the top of the tower by the staircase. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it is definitely a little laggy. Uh, obviously, uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, let's try to make it through. Uh, just deal with the lag with me for a second, folks. Oh, my goodness. It is getting hard to walk down this thing. Uh, this is scary. This is, like, legit scary. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, you're going to have to jump down parts of this. Dude, this is very possible. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't been smacked or sucked out by the wind here. Uh, there we go. We've made it out the bottom. Run before it collapses. Uh, did, it, did I turn it off? Uh oh. No, nope. uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, we made it out. Okay, had to confirm real quick. It is not pinned. Uh, all right, so let's resume it. So, in theory now, it should collapse. To be honest with you, it's acting as if it's pinned. I mean, it actually hasn't destroyed several, like, key pillars. Uh, but it did a tremendous amount of damage. Like, if we get this to where it would move through, uh, which I don't know how possible that is. Like, you could have it move by several buildings and just, like, blow them apart. Like, say if it dissipated and disappeared, like, that's the damage that it did to this tower. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's like it's starting to get a little stronger here to start to pull apart more of it. Come on, I want to see it collapse. Bob's actually safe down here. I'm surprised we haven't been smacked. I guess you would have to watch out for debris, too, uh, because that can kill you. Look at the pieces being flung to the other side. Uh, I wonder what else we can throw in here. That's the question we should be asking ourselves. I'm still waiting for a collapse here. I feel like it's going to happen any moment. Oh, there it goes. Oh, so it does work. Also, Bob was totally just whipped in the face uh, with the tornado. So, yeah, now it's really going to pull apart the rest of the debris. You know what? What if we were just in a normal house? Like, what would that experience be like? Maybe we'll try to find the safest part of the house uh, like you would in a real tornado. And we'll set this thing off right beside it and just see if we can maybe withstand... A little bit of the uh, the pain and misery that's going to come up with this. All right, so here we are at the Bricksville Estates. This is by Teb. Uh, this is a very lovely looking house. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be some issues that are going to happen here. Uh, so yeah, if we were in this house, where would be the safest spot to hide? Do we have a closet somewhere? Pretty open. Actually, I really like this. This looks really nice and clean. Uh, really open uh, living room section. You got a big dining room, kitchen area. We probably need to find the bedrooms. Laundry room over here. This is lovely. Uh, I actually wish my house looked like this. Uh, all right, let's go. Maybe there's an upstairs around here. Oh, here we go. So bathrooms are obviously spots you would like to be in. Uh, do we have a second story? There's maybe it's like a fake second story. like an a Oh, it's definitely like an attic area. All right, so uh, the attic area would probably not be where we'd want to be. Um, maybe we'll just choose the bathroom here. It's gonna be bad because we're not gonna be able to see this thing when it happens. But here's an overview of the house. Absolutely lovely looking house. Uh, too bad we're gonna have to destroy it here though. Uh, we'll spawn the tornado in about right here. Okay, it is placed. I think it's already destroyed the, the tanks beside it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we want to get in here. Let's go back to our hiding spot. I feel like it might have already taken out the fence. Actually, maybe just riding it out in the middle here. Uh, it gives you plenty of walls, I think, between you and the tornado. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and is Oh, my goodness. It killed us already. What the heck? Oh, dude, it's already sucking it up. Okay, uh, that was definitely not. <laughs> I don't think there's a safe spot inside of that house. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is lovely. Um, oh, I think I just saw Bob. Oh, no, Bob's definitely in the bottom of it right now. Okay, uh, I take that back. Probably not a safe spot. Uh, no, hold on, we're gonna have to get the heck over here real quick. Uh, let me see if I can get a hold of the house. Uh, maybe we should stick the house a little further away. Uh, what do you say? Maybe, like, here? Is it safe here? To say we're looking at it at, out the front, it, I don't know if we're gonna be good right here, but we're gonna try it. All right, resume. Uh, oh my goodness, okay. A little further away, you can hear it though. It's shaking. Oh, that's cool. Holy man. Okay, so the walls are starting to collapse. Uh, windows are busting out. Wait, the house out. <laughs> I was gonna say the house is shifting, 
it's kind of neat how it actually pulls it towards the tornado and then once it gets it it whips it around and just completely blows it apart uh yeah this house is definitely not tornado proof <laughs> i mean i don't think the uh, creator expected it to be you know tornado proof i mean there's a lot of destructive things here in brick rigs uh this is just one of them my goodness it is just pulling it apart right now uh definitely wasn't a good idea thought maybe we could ride it out in that hmm okay that's got me questioning like what else this thing could potentially take down well obviously i think we need to try it in the middle of bricksville real quick uh just to get a feel oh there goes the house oh that is cool looking all right here let's move this away real quick and let the house just kind of settle uh let's look at the damage uh yep you're definitely not going back into that house <laughs> okay so let's set it down here real quick let's go right in the middle uh make sure the game's paused there we go uh, we're gonna back out. Let's w see if it actually destroys. I know, like, there's the damage is weird to the buildings. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't really take stuff down, but I feel like it might hit those tanks. So here we go. Uh, it is unleashed in Bricksville, and oh my goodness. Okay, uh, it definitely hit something over there. Let's see if it moves. Look at how it's slowly like clipping stuff apart. Uh, but as you can see, it's not actually taking the buildings down. The only way it'll take them down is if it hits the gas tanks. But still, it's pretty cool looking. Like, if you were to have to drive a car through here, it's still shooting debris everywhere. And you can definitely see, like, pieces flying off the building. So it still does create, actually, quite a cool effect. But isn't quite <laughs> devastating to Bricksville as you would like it to be. I kind of wish uh, the physics were a little bit different when it came to being able to, like, s hit these buildings and take them down. Uh, I was kind of hoping it was going to hit one of those tanks up there and just eventually, like, clip all the buildings down. But, I mean... It still looks cool. It's created a really neat effect as far as the damage in the city. Definitely looks like it's cleared some stuff out. So here's a good question. Can a plane fly by this? Um, yes, you know we are going to attempt that. Uh, let's find one of the biggest, baddest planes. Uh, look at that in the distance. You can see it just like clipping apart the house out there. That's insane looking. Uh, I love the destruction on this. All right, let's go get a plane. Okay, so I have a 737 by NASCAR 24. I feel like this might be a good thing to try it's not too many bricks and let's just hope that i can actually fly this oh yeah that's perfect all right so we're gonna come in from this direction i'm not gonna take off i'm gonna fly towards it here so uh, activate that hopefully i spawned it up high enough uh oh 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 it's pulling up pulling up there we go beautiful looking hey this thing actually is pretty good as far as flying i mean komodo looks like he knows partially what he's doing here all right, so, uh-oh, I might be in god mode. Make sure we're not. Uh, we might be. Oh, got to reset it. All right, here we go once again. I uh, got to pull up a little bit. Let's fly really close to it. And, oh, okay, we were able to clear it that time. Uh, not a problem. We're going to need to get closer. By the way, Bob is in god mode right now, not the plane. So I believe we should be good. Okay, we're going to have to fly really low here to see if we can get this thing to actually hit it. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, a little bit up. All right, we're going to be really close this time. And... Uh, oh, it's, it like, actually clipped the bottom of it off. Uh, yeah, the piece of the nose is gone, but... Man, the plane actually held up pretty good. Let's see if I get closer. Okay, we're going to do something really stupid. I'm going to try to pull up last moment and get really... Oh my goodness, that was... Okay. <laughs> it clipped it a little bit. Also, I hit the ground. You know, we haven't died yet. Nope. Oh. I take that back. Definitely would have been death right there. Yeah, it seems to be like it, it's a, I guess maybe some luck depending on if you clear uh, these. But man, this is a, uh, this is cool. We've kind of proven that potentially you can do tower survival and many other lovely things with this. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know, and we'll see you guys next time.